So my wife just sent me this awesome comment that she made on a YouTube video. She was replying to a doctor who just recently woke up to what's going on. And he's really struggling. And here's Tracy's awesome comment. You can't take the old man into the new man. No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch will pull away from the garment, making the new tear worse. Neither do people pour new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins will burst, and the wine will run out, and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour the new wine into the new wineskins, and both are preserved. The last part's an actual Bible verse. Matthew 9, 16, and 17. So what is the new wine God is pouring into your life at this moment? And are you being flexible like the new wineskins in order to receive it? Without scorning the old thing that God did in your life yesterday. Those are some beautiful words. It's really easy to get caught up in the past. Which is where most stress comes from. And being worried about everything that could happen in the future is where anxiety comes from. I've watched many people wake up to the reality of what's going on right now. And I remember how I felt in 2007 when I fucking woke up to it. I went in my backyard and cried my damn eyes out for a while. It's going to be hard for a lot of people when they figure it out. I truly love all my brothers and sisters here on planet Earth. And I fucking pray for this place every day. I try not to spend my time pointing fingers and blaming others. That doesn't get any of us anywhere. I focus on where we are and what can we do about it. And everybody can do something. If you're at the convenience store, tell people. At family gatherings, tell people. At football games, tell people. At bars, tell people. At church, tell people. Tell them on every app they'll let you tell them. And make sure you do it out of love. Right, brother? That's right. And if one approach doesn't work, try another one. Like Mr. Einstein said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So we're all going to have to think really unconventionally right now. Because the bottom line is we need to help save as many lives as we possibly can. We love y'all very much. Much love. Peace.